Hello Tubesters, it's me Gav and welcome to another one of my videos. Today we finally got the final final reveal of the Tamiya 1 in 35 scale Merkava Mark 1. That's the Israeli main battle tank. Uh, I finally got the last bits and pieces done on it. I've intended to keep the tank uh, dusty uh, with a bit of crud round built up areas rather than uh, you know muddy. Um, there's bits and pieces I could have done better. I mean this is my first tank in as in one in 35 scale what for since easy uh, the very late 80s maybe early 90s but probably the late 80s and in those days I was a youngster just stuck them together with you know stringy glue and and put a brush around them so uh, dead chuffed uh, the pros on this one for me and this one is definitely you know the first of a long line of learning experiences uh, finally I had some problems with the my old Neo airbrush as I say I think the seals are gone uh, and I could have just stuffed up stuffed it up anyway but I've, I've never been able to spray properly uh, I still obviously got a long way to go on it but the primer I put down just went horrible um, but I then got my Bart Sharp airbrush and uh, fired that through with some uh, MIG paints as I've shown on the other videos, I won't go too far in depth in that and the paint went down for me really well uh, you know obviously you can always improve but uh, it's a, it was a good start so for me the pros definitely the paints worked really well for me for a change uh, I've even put a like a I used some Vallejo and I wasn't sure how that was going to go through the airbrush today but uh, just to put on some some dust uh, on the side skirts and on the front of the vehicle and maybe I did a bit on the, the barrel and the front of the front and back of the, the turret um, so that's gone great uh, there's the the only thing that um, probably didn't go so well was the towing cable Peter you said yours had snapped and uh, mine did as well <laughs> uh, I I managed to put the, the hairdryer on it and got it to, to go around quite well when I, I was just trying it all out and then I came to paint it the other day and then reapply it and the thing just went ping so that's now usual copper wire um, and uh, I've just tried to got a bit shiny and a, and a bit dusty and all that just to and even then I still managed to break a piece on here which we'll, we'll have a look at in a moment as we get closer uh, the only other things I've added was um, I did some made some putty uh, Bergens stroke backpacks and uh, out of paper I've made this uh, ID marker for the aircraft and uh, put the Israeli flag on the on the top uh, I always like to have a theme whether I'm painting figures whether they're painting war games figures painting painting larger scale figures and busts and, and obviously going into scale modeling again um, in my head I like to have a theme of what what's what it's about and uh, for me this is a um, obviously a Mark I Merkava um, they've been defending Israel since 1979 so uh, you know they've got a long heritage and this is in the early days 1982 uh, it's involved in southern Lebanon uh, they it's on overwatch on a crossroads uh, they're taking some incoming uh, automatic gunfire so the crews buttoned up and they're just watching uh, for for more aggressive moves um, that's <laughs> that's my little story anyway uh, I couldn't help but putting the Israeli flag on um, big IDF fanboy uh, and I had to put uh, I had to put the Israeli flag on uh, the marker that they used in southern Lebanon was this uh, uh, it's always comes over as quite a, a pinky red uh, probably down to the dust more than anything so I gave that an overspray as well and, and made the paint a bit pinky there just to oh and I also put out again just made it out of paper um, these home that, that's they're quite rough and ready some of them obviously the guys have put the the vehicle ID on the on the sides you know they do them on canvas if you've noticed ID, uh, IDF vehicles um, so that's uh, that was that uh, the the mortar probably could do with being inclined uh, higher I've mentioned that in another video but um, it does look a bit flat trajectory there but never mind uh, the I had the worst problem I had with the, the entire vehicle was the tracks yeah we all know that especially when you haven't done them for a while rubber tracks aren't always the easiest to put on uh, I got away by stapling them 
as it says in the thing. <laughs> uh, I put a staple through them, and because they were hidden behind the, the side skirts, it didn't matter. But I, I could see how f these are quite, as you can see, they're floating around on the tracks now. Um, you know, and they obviously I've got them in those rubber, those plastic, uh, oh, what do you call it, grommet things. Um, and you know, they fly all over the place. The, 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 the track sat too far out, and yet I've got both wheels pushed the idler wheel and the the oh name which escapes me now but <laughs> drive wheel at the front uh they're all pushed quite far back um and yet i could see before i put this is the last thing you put on is the, the side skirt and i could see that um it was going to be pushed out because it it doesn't have you'd think they'd have some quite strong locating pins but they don't they just have a obviously a little ridge of plastic that uh, you put it to especially at this end there's hardly anything to hold them on at all so i ended up having to take drastic solutions and cut out the the ends of the track flatten them off slightly just so i could get enough to push that on and then i actually glued that on with super glue because it was the only way of keeping it sat there uh, because obviously the the plastic cement uh, one just wanted to keep uh, falling off and pushing it with the power of that just kept pushing it off so that, yeah, I'd get, you know whether it's I mean, you know, I'm not saying it's the kit. It's again, it's it's uh, early days for me, and I'm I'm just obviously making mistakes. But uh, that that was a that was problematical, and that was really the only thing apart from the tow cable snapping. But you know, I don't think how Tammy thought that was ever going to go around. Uh, I'm sure there are people out there that have got it to do it, but uh, I couldn't. Um, so yeah, uh, what else have we done? Put a, let's get a bit closer. I've, I'm really pushed for space, as I say. I, I have taken some photographs. They're not very good because I've rushed them. But um, down here, I've just done a, a very light smudge of, of black with some uh, grey in it, uh, just for exhaust fumes. I didn't want to go over the top with it. Um, let's see if we can pull around to the front. See, we're just stuck for space. Uh, but yeah, you know, again, not too heavy on the on the weathering. I, I want it fairly fairly light. Watch your wind's going to come off now. Now I'm moving it. But really, really chuffed. I've really enjoyed this. It's been a, it's been a great learning experience and just fun to do. Even the tracks, yeah, you know, I could see as they were going on, I was going to have problems. Um, but uh, you know, it's one of those things. I still enjoyed the project. The decals on the barrel I'm not happy about, so they didn't conform very well. And I have got some shininess to them as well, uh, which uh, which is a bit of a bummer, but never mind. Uh, but yeah, now I've uh, I've really enjoyed it. It's uh, you know I'd like to say you know I'm going to get a fair few IDF vehicles over the over the years. Um, you know, get them when I can. So. Uh, You'll see a few more IDF vehicles uh, popping up on the channel from time to time. Um, uh, as I say, there, I didn't want to put any figures with this because this will just uh, sit in the cabinet. Uh, it's not going to be on any diorama or just sitting figures on it or anything. As I say, I didn't want to go over the top with this. It really was just to learn how to try and put some paint down. And, and as I say, I'd never used pigments or anything before, so. That was a bit of a learning experience. I could have muddied up to make the tracks look better. I had put a pencil over them, but a lot of it's been lost in the dusting off. Uh, I could have done the the tracks uh, with you know put some mud around and stuff. But again, it's it's sitting in the the shelf. It's not got you know too much of a context to it. It's not as if it's sat on a you know a base that's that's telling you a story type of thing. So uh, no, I'm happy with that. As I say, it's a Mark One. It hasn't got the the balls hanging off the back because uh, it was only in Lebanon that they they really discovered that uh, there was a shot trap underneath. So um, it's got, it hasn't got the telltale uh, balls hanging off. And as you can see by the, I'm not going to get the turret round probably. I can. The turret is the the very early one uh, when they put the 120 millimeter gun and then this has got the 105 in it. When they put the 120 in, they had to completely redesign the the turret because it wouldn't fit. So uh, that's why it's a slightly different turret than the, the later marks. So guys, thank you very, very much for stopping by and taking a look. Uh, it's been, a, as I say, a joy to work on this one. Uh, coming up, we've obviously got the 
uh, Schwimmwagen still. We've got the we've got the Landwasser Schlepper still. Uh, we've got, <laughs> we've got um, some uh, War Games uh, painted soldiers on painting. Uh, we'll have to get back to painting. Uh, they'll be coming up uh, fairly soon over the next few weeks. Uh, we've got the SAS Pink Panther Land Rover, which I'm dying to get on to, but I promised myself clear the decks first <laughs> before you start another one. Um, and uh, we'll have a bit of a, a, a Christmas stroke New Year a recap on the channel. I've got a few shout outs to, to, to shout out, <laughs> literally. Uh, that'll be coming up in the next day, couple of days. So uh, you take care of yourselves, guys. Uh, you know, hope you have a good holiday and uh, a safe one. And you know, you get all that you want. So take care, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Cheers.